A new report released this week by the Human Rights Office has found the 2014 Gaza conflict between Israel and Palestinian militants to be the scene of possible war crimes. The alleged war crimes perpetrated by both sides during the 51-day war were instrumental in causing over 1,000 civilian casualties and widespread destruction in the Gaza Strip. According to the independent UN Commission that conducted the inquiry, both sides in the conflict failed to avoid actions targeting heavily populated civilian areas, either through the use of airstrikes and artillery shells or the indiscriminate firing of rockets. Despite the fact that the destructions have been on both sides, and the consequences of the rocket or the destruction of building have been shown repeatedly, there was not anything which shows that there has been a decision to stop or diminish the number of attacks on buildings and civilians. The conflict left six Israeli citizens dead and resulted in 1,462 Palestinian civilian casualties, a third of which were children. The global community will fail millions of children if it does not focus on the most disadvantaged in its new development roadmap, the UN Children's Fund warned. In a new report, UNICEF said that despite significant achievements, unequal opportunities have left millions of children living in poverty, dying before they turn five, without schooling and suffering chronic malnutrition. This is the final assessment of the Child-Related Millennium Development Goals, or MDGs, which were leaders had pledged to achieve by 2015. UNICEF Executive Director Anthony Lake said the MDGs helped the world realize tremendous progress for children but they also showed how many children are being left behind. As world leaders prepare to adopt the Sustainable Development Goals in September, the most disadvantaged children should be at the heart of the new goals and targets UNICEF stressed. Seventy years ago this week, the UN was born from the ashes of the Second World War as delegates from 15 nations came together to sign the UN Charter, the bedrock of global peace. Seventy years later, and the UN is returning to San Francisco, where the document was first signed to celebrate the UN's founding and the impact the organization has had over seven decades. To mark this anniversary, we are once again uniting in our birthplace. This year, world leaders will chart the way forward to end extreme poverty and address climate change. We won 2015 to be a year of global action for people and the planet. In this year of global action, the UN is busier than ever, said Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, as member states roll out a blueprint for a sustainable future and tackling climate change once and for all. Let us work together for peace, human rights, and lives of dignity for all.